Type 2 diabetes is one of the biggest global health emergencies of our time. The high blood sugar levels that are characteristic of this condition are toxic to nerves, blood vessels and organs and can lead on to limb amputations, heart attacks, stroke and ultimately an early grave. One tool that's particularly effective in lowering blood sugar levels is muscle contraction and it's one of the reasons why the, the message exercise as medicine is heavily promoted in our field. But unfortunately for many type 2 diabetes patients, exercise can be a particularly big pill to swallow because they're often dealing with a number of complications, they're often overweight and they're often deconditioned. So, these issues, in parallel with our increasing propensity to sit for prolonged periods of time at work, at home, and for transport, has meant that people with type 2 diabetes are literally sitting ducks to an epidemic that has recently been coined sitting disease. In my PhD, I'm interested in whether dividing up this exercise pill into more manageable bite-sized pieces by breaking up prolonged sitting is a useful alternate approach. To study this, I ran a clinical trial where I got participants to come in, these were patients with type 2 diabetes, and they completed three separate visits. On each of these visits I fed them breakfast, lunch and dinner, and closely monitored how they responded to the meals across a 24 hour period. On one day, I had them basically come in and ask them to sit all day, much like they might be doing at work. Their blood sugar levels spiked to dangerously high levels, what we call hyperglycemia, and this hyperglycemia persisted overnight right through until the next morning. On the other two days, I had them come in and do exactly the same thing, except we just changed one thing. We had them interrupt their sitting with brief three-minute bouts of either light walking, such as going to the water cooler and back, or with three minutes worth of simple body weight resistance activities, so something like half squats and calf raises. So that's three minutes worth of activity every 30 minutes across an eight-hour working day. On these days, we observed substantial improvements in their blood sugar control. In fact, they spent half the time in that danger zone of hyperglycemia when they broke up their sitting over that eight hour day. Now, it's early days and longer and larger studies are still needed, but what my PhD is showing is that small, simple and practical changes are more meaningful than you might think. Most notably, the fact that these activities can be more readily embedded into people's everyday lives means that the population health implications are potentially huge. So, to summarise, while the bad news is that many out there might be sitting ducks, the good news is that the solution, or at least a starting point, might be as simple as a quack break from sitting. Yeah. <laughs>